How to plan a photo of the October 2nd, 2024 annular solar eclipse step by step. Hello, Photopilla Raphael the Bar here. An annular solar eclipse is a stunning natural phenomenon. The moon travels between Earth and the Sun, leaving a spectacular ring of fire around it. Well, long story short, if you want to photograph the coming annual solar eclipse on October 2nd, 2024, the first thing you need to do is to figure out where on Earth the eclipse is visible. So, to plan the eclipse, go to Photo Pills, tap on Planner, and here on Planner, tap on the Map Settings button, this button here, and on the Eclipse layer, tap on Eclipse layer, and here you have a calendar with all the lunar and solar eclipses, and we need to go to the annual solar eclipse on October 2nd, 2024. This one, you select it, and you go back to the map. By the way, notice that the date in the planner has been set to October 2nd, 2024, which is the date of the annual eclipse. Now zoom out to see where the eclipse is visible on Earth. Perfect, perfect. And if you used to photograph the phase of annularity, if you wish to photograph the ring of fire, you need to be inside the path of, of annularity, which is this dark band that you see here on the map crossing Chile and Argentina and uh, the Pacific and the Atlantic Ocean. So in this area here, in this dark path, is where you can photograph the ring of fire. So you need to place the red pin in this band here. Perfect. On the contrary, if you're shooting from outside the path of annularity, but within these yellow and blue lines, it's where you can photograph the partial phase of the eclipse, but not the annular phase. And the partial phase is super cool to photograph too, of course. You should know that the eclipse goes through five eclipse phases. When the partial eclipse begins, the moon starts moving on the sun's disk. When the annularity begins, is when the moon is completely on the sun's disk and you start seeing the ring of fire. Then we have when the eclipse is maximum, when the moon is centered with the sun's disk. And then we have when the annularity phase ends and when the partial eclipse ends, which is when the eclipse ends. Okay, now that you know where the eclipse is visible, for a given location, let's figure out the exact time each phase of the eclipse occurs. So let's first place the red pin inside the path of totality, for example, over here, perfect, perfect path of annularity because this is an annular eclipse. And now swipe the top panel to the left until you get to the eclipse panel. And here on the eclipse panel, you have the time each phase of the eclipse occurs. So for the red pin position uh, on October 2nd, 2024, at 3 59. And two seconds p.m., the partial eclipse will begin. Then the annular eclipse uh, phase, the phase of annularity, will begin at 5:21 and 43 seconds p.m. It's maximum at 5:24 and 15 seconds. Uh, the annular eclipse ends at 5:26 and 46 uh, seconds p.m. And the partial eclipse ends at 6:41 and 50 seconds. So, for a given location, the ripping position, you know exactly to the second the time each phase of the eclipse begins. And you can do a long press on the time to select it in the time bar. So, for example, I'm going to do a long press at the time when the eclipse is maximum at 5.24 and the time is set in the time bar too. Awesome! Now that we have the time, where the eclipse is happening? Well, it's happening in the direction of this kind of blue thin line. When I change time on the time bar, you see that this thin line that's moving is telling me where the sun and the moon are at all time, so where the eclipse is actually occurring. And if you are at the red pin position, you can always tap the AR button and visualize where the sun and the moon will be and where the eclipse will occur in the sky. Pretty cool. And as you see, this eclipse will occur pretty high in the sky, above 20 degrees. So if you wish to photograph it aligning with an interesting subject, you will need to find the tall cliff or a deep ravine. And if you can find any subject that can be aligned with the ring of fire, well, just photographing the faces of the eclipse is amazing too. I think that now you have everything to plan your eclipse shot. Let's do it again very quickly. So let's go over the steps very quickly again. If you want to plan your annual eclipse shot, just tap on the map settings button, go to the eclipse calendar, choose the eclipse you want to plan, and then place the red pin obviously within the path of annularity in this case. In a place that you know, you need to scout, you can scout on location, you can scout uh, online if you find an interesting subject. But first you need to understand where the eclipse will occur, so this is going to be in the direction of this thin line that's moving on the map. And uh, I'm changing the time, you see that how the eclipse phase 
adjusts the picture of the clip's face adjusts on the top panel. What time the clips occur? Well, we have the uh, times on the top panel. Pretty cool. You can do a long press to on the time of the face you want to plan, for example, when the eclipse is maximum, so you know where the eclipse is occurring in the direction of this thin yellow line, and with the AR view you can visualize how high it is in the sky. So this is a horizon, and the eclipse will be occurring there on a, uh, October 2nd, 2024, at 5.24 p.m. That's for the location of the red pin. Super nice. Well, and this is how you can plan your annular clip shot. And this week I'm gonna share with you a video where I teach you how to photograph the annular clips. Don't miss it. But if you don't wanna wait a week, I'm sharing with you our super detailed solar eclipse photography guide. You wanna learn how to photograph the annular eclipse or total eclipse or any other type of eclipse. Uh, in this guide, you'll find everything you need. I'm gonna leave a link to the guide in the description of this video and in the first comment below. Download it. And as always, if you like this video, give me a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next Wednesday in another video. And remember, that you have the power to imagine, plan, and shoot. Legendary photos. Bye.